My friend recently made this tutorial for Cinema 4D, and it has 10k views? So I decided to throw my hat in the game and do one but for Blender. But the process is completely different, and if you're interested in how different it is, go check out that other video. For us on the free and open source side of things, start by not deleting the default cube, and instead add another editor by dragging like so. Switch this panel to geometry nodes and create a new geometry node setup. In the Geometry Nodes panel, add a volume cube, connect the density to a color ramp, and connect the factor to a Voronoi texture color. Switch the Voronoi texture from F1 to Smooth F1. Then connect the resolution to an input on the group. After the Volume Cube node, add a Volume to Mesh node, a Set Material node, and a Set Shade Smooth node. Then slide the threshold up on the color ramp to create some cheese. Go to the Modifiers panel and set the resolution to 256. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If you make it out alive, it should look a lot better now. Position the camera in the cheese for your render. Pro tip, if you're in the camera view and you hit view, N on the keyboard, and W on the keyboard, you can control the camera with WASD controls. Slide over another panel, and make this one a shader node editor. On the top of your scene, add a big area light and make it very powerful. And make sure the rest of the world is completely blank so that there's no extra light. In your bubbles material, connect the base color to a color ramp and connect the color ramp factor to the facing output of the layer weight node. Add this material to the set material node in your geometry nodes and play around with the colors on the color ramp of the material. For the fun bubble effect, set the transmission to 1, the roughness to 0, and the transmission roughness to 0.2 or something like that. You can also set the metallic value to 1 instead of the transmission to create some fun gold ones. Hit render and you're done. Again, big thank you to my friend whose video is linked down in the description, and I'll talk to you in another video soon.